want to start. I mean, I think we should start with King Kong Rhythm, man. I think that's the perfect place to start because I know we spoke about it on Wednesday and what our predictions were. Uh, I think you and I both said that Conway would probably have the best verse. I think he does. What say you? First, I want to say subscribe to our subscribe to our page. Yeah, to subscribe to the According to Hip Hop channel. Um, hit the bell notification to know when we're going live so we don't, you know, sneak attack you and you be like, damn, I missed the live. So, you know. Yeah, go Atlanta Braves. If you're here from out of town rooting for Houston, fuck your team. The Conway <laughs> verse is the best verse yeah. on the song. By far. <laughs> By far. Okay. You want me to tell you want me to tell the people what I told you when we when we talked about it? I was like, it sounds like Jada Kiss literally mailed the verse in, has in like emailed it to them, right. and also like mailed it in, as in like didn't try that hard. <clears throat> Is that Jay's where you're at? Verse, Go ahead. Jay's verse sounds like he listened to Kiss and Conway's verse and tried as hard as he could, and it still doesn't come off too much better than Kiss's verse, and definitely not on the level of Conway's verse. This is where the I'm beat at with okay. it. The beat actually submit. I, yeah, I, I, listen. The beat, I get it, you know, because it's for the soundtrack of this. Uh, I guess it's a Western, African-American Western right? theme or whatnot, Black American Western theme. So I guess that's where they were trying to go with it. Um, this is what I'll say about, you know, Jay-Z in 2021. I know we're going to get further into this. I listened to both songs that he's on on this soundtrack before we got on air. Just, you know, just to have it fresh in my mind, right? Jay's at that stage now, man. It's like, remember me? Remember what I did? It's, I know we were talking about um, Nas being a nostalgic MC, but he's a nostalgic MC in a different sense. And he's always been that. Illmatic's a nostalgic album about his childhood. And he's been able to continuously take you back to those places. But with Jay-Z's nostalgia rap he's always been so current throughout his career and now to hear him get to that stage where it's like hey remember when we used to do this or remember i used to do this i used to be this and it's like mm, you're, you're rhyming right next to conway who is current and he's talking about what he's doing now and it's a big difference um it's it's a big difference, especially like I said, when you're talking about somebody like Jay Z, we fell in love with his craft based on him being so current, and he might make reference to what he used to do, but now it's like it's all of that, and it's really kind of unfulfilling. It's kind of heard it all before type thing, and like he said on uh, on to the next one. Want the old ho buy my old albums type of thing. Like, nigga, mm -hmm. you're not really gonna impress us with your old shit in the ways that your old shit did. Um, so, with that being said, it's like, it comes off as very uninspired. Um, very uninspired and, you know, it's, I probably won't even listen to it again. And that's crazy to say when you got a record with Jadakiss. Conway and Jay-Z on it. I don't even think, and, and with all that I just said about Jay, I think Jadakiss has the most disappointing verse on there. Because he's the I, one that we praise for being consistent on these collaborations. No, no, no. I agree because usually on, a, on, on something like this, he usually delivers. Like, no matter yeah. what. Even if it's not the best verse, you never feel like, oh, no, no, no. Kiss doesn't have a dope verse on there. This is so, one of his worst features that I can remember. And I'm not trying to be, you know, extreme on this, but, you know. No, you, no, Mike, you're correct. It's one of the more uh, lackluster performances by him that I can think of in recent memory as far as a feature is concerned. And so, you know, Conway definitely took this moment from the two vets who, uh, who, he's, who he's looked up to, you know, and mm -hmm. it's just his time. And that's what I really heard on that record. I didn't hear the beat. I didn't hear Kiss and, and Jay's verse so much. I heard that Conway is, you know, still having a moment. Yeah. Uh, let me go to the chat real quick and let us know what y'all think about the records. You know what I'm saying? We might be tripping. Who knows? 
Uh, P. White says, Big Coop is my guy. Too funny and spits facts. Uh, uh, solution, uh, salutes and gentlemen. Yeah, Shannon Williams says, What up, fellas? Uh, Spent Overtone says, The song is trash. Um, <laughs> Shyster 30 says, What up, guys? Shannon Williams says, Jay Z verse was garbage, Conway verse was average, and Kiss verse was the better because he stayed on the jungle theme. That's an interesting take. I say, Kiss, Conway, then Jay. Um, Shannon Ooh. Williams also says, The song is definitely garbage. Uh, P.Y. says trash. Uh, Unknown Name says both songs were ass. Well, I guess Unknown Name's not Jay-Z then. Uh, Real Talk, uh, this is why LL would be form a formidable opponent. Um, <laughs> listen, that was a lot to take in there, and I will say this, and you're right, it does sound like Jadakiss mailed it in. Sounds like Jadakiss was told what this movie was about and to and probably try to make a, a a creative writer's choice to stay on theme. He can execute better still. Would yeah. be my um, my rebuttal to that is, and, and that's a valid assertion. But he can still do better. This is Kiss we talking about. He sounded tired. <clears throat> he sounded like that, that, I did this. I, it sounded like he just finished doing a show. And went to the studio and recorded this verse at 4 a.m. in the morning. It didn't sound too energized. I don't know. I was thinking the reverse, or he woke up early and came and did it at like 6, 7 in the morning before he had to get prepped for a show you or something. You might be right. You might be right. Morning voice is the worst. That's why they tell morning you Morning voice is the worst. That's why they tell you don't record in the morning. You shouldn't record before noon, no. No, that's real. That's why everybody has late yeah. nights in the studio because no one records in the morning. Your voice ain't ready yet. Um, yeah, you, that might be a very valid assertion. <coughs> it did sound like he was rhyming on some morning voice. I mean, with those three guys on the record, I definitely expect a better beat. Now, I will say that. And everybody in the chat is basically saying that the beat was trash. Um, I didn't like yeah. the beat, but I understand that they were going for a certain theme because I didn't. Li I, I think I asked you before we went on if you listened to the whole soundtrack. I didn't either. I listened to uh, the song CeeLo, and I could tell that there is a there is a, a sonic theme that they're going for. Uh, so probably that's why the beat sounded the way it did. But it didn't do anything for the three MCs that were on it. But you could tell Conway seized the moment. Um, he even talked about the fact that his spit game got the legends, you know, getting off in their bag again, yeah. which is correct. Very and correct. he's singing it on the right record because he's singing it with two of the legends. Yeah, on and he the had track. the best That's verse. That's what I mean. Yeah, he has the best verse. What did you think about but, the um, the song with Kid Cudi, "Guns Go Bang," uh, the Kid Cudi and Jay Z record? Okay, so I guess unlike a lot of people in the track, I don't think the uh, the Conway, Kiss, and Jay song is complete trash. Like I said, like it's not some mid, but it's definitely not no fire either and far, like far from it. And I'm like you, I probably won't listen to it again because it's like I got so many dope Kiss verses and Conway verses from the last couple of years to go off of. It ain't like I need to go to it for their parts. Yeah. Uh, Jay, Jay was unimpress unimpressive and uninspired. The Cuddy song, it it was more of the same. That was now that was some mid. That was some mid. That was I was like, what is this? And then you didn't get a second verse. I kept waiting for the second verse. I'm like, oh, so we're not getting the second verse. Yeah, I mean, even the song structure, like you said, I was, the way Mike, thank you, Mike. And then I was like, well, then what's the strong the song structure on this built like like y'all kind like if you want to get creative with it and run it like that, like the song need to be dope. Well, see, the thing is, when you talk about creativity and creative license, that that award goes to Kanye West, you know, in, in relation to him and Jay-Z. I mean, that's what separates them two as, you know, artists. I mean, Jay is the more lyricist of the two, where Kanye's more of the creative. If he were on that song with Kid Cudi, I think that would have been guided very differently. Uh, but yeah, song structure. When I heard Jay come in, when he came in, I just assumed there was another verse coming. Um, you know, if he was going to do one verse, I would think it would be at the very beginning and then at the very end. Um, the thing is, though, we know Jay comes with rhymes like this, right? 
And the fact that this is his film or film that, you know, he's doing a lot of promo for. He really has, you know, boots on the ground getting the awareness out for this Netflix film. I figured that he would really come through with at least two verses. And if Jay comes with one verse, you expect that verse to be crazy. He came with 116 and it was like not memorable. Okay. Again, the fact that I'm not like, going to okay. go back and listen to you know this 116, it's like, whoa. 